such a long, long time. Music stirs a memory at Cooper George Retirement Center. Old pictures bring that memory into focus, but only stories make it come alive. I was gone about a week, and I missed him so much, I came <laughs> Mary Chapman pined for her husband. Bob Burke longed for his hometown. And I was very proud of Spokane. The Pacific Theater. Grace Gordon Peck had a thing for live theater. And everybody came to see it because there was no TV. I just love the stories. Spokane publisher Byron King. A hospital bill from April 8th, 1930. Is capturing the nostalgia in a new magazine. You know, there are stories that have never been in print, never been on TV. Patty Red writes the stories taken from interviews at Cooper George. Everybody has an individual story to tell. I see. Like Midge Bartelson, alive 102 years ago when Spokane rose from the ashes to become a thriving center of commerce. Trains, logging, and mining added luster to the economy. Oh, yes. So many more people live here. And I... The nicer people and more wealthy people. But the growth was short-lived and the stories became more bleak. World War I, a deadly flu outbreak and the stock market crash all took their toll on Spokane. Got my first job in the middle of the Depression. I went to work for the Great Northern Railroad. Burke survived, but I banks failed. Around. Stores like Spokane Hardware liquidated business. Construction jobs at Grand Coulee Dam provided much-needed relief to Spokane's weary souls. They were tough cookies, truly tough. World War II made them tougher, but by the 1960s, it was time to shed that recent past. And the clearing up of all that mess. The transformation of the downtown rail yard into a site that would eventually host a World's Fair. It was Mary's favorite feat. The uh, aftermath of Expo, the beautiful park. You know, what's going on now over there? We would have never had that. Other favorite places, Natatorium Park was a hot ticket, and of course, the Davenport Hotel. This was fantastic. Everybody knew about the Davenport Hotel. Yeah. Of course we want it brought back to life. Their memories stirred by song, now saved for posterity. On the January 2000 cover. A gift of knowledge for all of Spokane on the eve of a new millennium. Randy Neves, Crent 2 News. You know, I was watching the piece there on Expo. Yeah. My first visit to Spokane was back in 1974 when Expo was going on. That's when oh, I fell in neat. love with this city. Oh, how could you not? It looked phenomenal. You know, I still got a little bit of time. You know, it's uh, about 40 minutes away until mm -hmm. midnight. Got to find that kiss. Still got the note for my yeah, wife yeah. right here. Looking around. Hey, hey, will you read this? This is a note for my wife. Can't help you. Not a problem. Still got 40 minutes. And a lot of people. And a lot of people. And a weather forecast to give you here pretty quickly. Let's check the weather uh, right now. Looking better than my chances of uh, getting a New Year's kiss, that's for sure. Overnight, more snow. Some icy roads down to around 23. Winter weather continues tomorrow. Drive slowly with some snow showers and a high of 29. By the way, winter storm warning in effect across the Cascade Mountains and also in southeastern Washington, so be aware of that. And for the next seven days, more of the sun. Temperatures, uh, again, uh, in the low 30s and upper 20s. Overnight lows staying below freezing, too, as well. Wow. wow, you know what? I'd love to stay and chat with everybody, but this music is so great. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. Okay. Oh, right. I guess he's going to go off and dance. And get some exercise. Yes, indeed. Well, you know, coming up next, we're going to take you back live to Coeur d'Alene for a look back at the 20th century in the Lake City. This is a Creme 2 Impact 2000 special report. Be right with you. Dr. Triesenberg, line one. Winter blues got you down? <laughs> Nothing lifts the spirit like Mazda's year-end clear. Ben and Tom dancing before the music even starts.